Kia ora and welcome to U-Value Calculation for Windows. U-Value Calculations for Windows are quite a bit different from U-Value Calculations for opaque building elements. We don't need to calculate our values of the layers or identify surface resistances as we are working with already calculated U-Values for the window components and then we area weight them. One thing to note about U-values of glazing units is that they may be derived with different sets of boundary conditions. So in New Zealand, for example, we typically use glazing U-values derived with American boundary conditions. And it's well debatable whether the more extreme temperatures of the American standard are applicable to New Zealand climates, but that aside, if you want to use glazing U values for passive houses and import them into the passive house planning package, make sure that they were calculated using the boundary conditions of the European standard. Okay, let's have a look at a window in elevation and cross-section. The baby blue area in our elevation is the area of the glazing, or short AG. Next we have the area of the frame, abbreviated AF. And that is the projected area of the frame and the wing. So if you'd shown a light on to this window, that's the shadow it'll cast on a wall immediately behind it. In red, we have a line, not an area. And this line represents the edge of glass. And the length of the edge of glass is abbreviated LG. And here's where we find this line in the cross-section. The frame width may vary, for example, between the bottom and the side, so we may need to do the area calculation separately for the components of the window frame. The magnitude of the thermal bridge at the edge of glass may also vary, and we may therefore need to calculate the length of the edge of glass for different components separately as well. Last but not least, there may be separate areas of glazing in our window in consideration and in that case we have to account for these areas separately. Once we figured the geometry of our components we need the thermal properties of those and then we can put it all together in this formula. So we take the U-value of the glazing, multiply it with the area of the glazing, and sum it up if we have more than one glazing area. Do the same with the U-value of the frame and the area of the frame, and if we have more than one to account for, sum it up again. And the same with the length of the edge of glass and the thermal bridging coefficient at the edge of glass, which is called psi. And then we Put this all over the sum of glazing and sum of framing areas, which will give us the U-value of the window in consideration. Let's do an example. Let's say my window has exterior dimensions of 120 by 140 meters, and the frame has a thickness of 10 centimeters, keeping it simple. The width of the glazing is then the total minus 2 times the frame width, 120 minus 2 times 10 centimeter gives us a meter for the width of the glazing. And if we do the same for the height, which is 1 meter and 40 centimeters, we get 120 for the glazing height. The area of the glazing is thus 1 meter multiplied by 1 meter and 20, which is 1.20 meters squared. And let's say that we know that the glazing U value, or UG, for our triple glazing is 0.7 watt per square meter and Kelvin. 
There are various ways to calculate the framing area, but in our case it's easiest to deduct the glazing area from the total of the window, which leaves us with 0.48 meters squared for the frame. And let's say we know from the manufacturer of this particular frame that it has a framing U value or UF of 0.9 watt per square meter in Kelvin. Next we need to calculate the length of the edge of glass, like so. And we need to know the thermal bridging coefficient or psi value of the edge spacer used in this particular glazing and framing configuration. And we're assuming here a rather low psi value of 0 0.03 watt per meter and Kelvin. Next we multiply our performance values with the relevant geometrical values and then we can cancel out the square meters and meters respectively. We can then add up the watts on top of the bar and need to add the geometry information for the whole window below the bar and then there's also the Kelvin left over from what we've done previously. which gives us a result of 1.404 watt over 1.68 square meter times Kelvin. And if we do the division, we get our result as 0 0.836 watts per square meter and Kelvin, which is the U value of the window we've considered in accordance with international standard 10077 part 1. You may have noticed a green line in the cross-section of the window and this indicates the form of linear thermal bridge resulting from the installation of the window in the wall. So for the whole picture you'll also have to calculate this linear thermal bridge but that's a topic of another video. Thanks for watching.